Now let's look into the most important area of phosphine, pH3. Phosphine is the best known hydrate of phosphorus. It's hydrate phosphorus. If we talk about the preparation, it is usually obtained by boiling white phosphorus with 30 to 40 percent solution of caustic soda. In an inert atmosphere of, of carbon dioxide, you got your phosphine and sodium dihydrophosphate. It's sodium dihydrogen phosphate too. Sodium dihydrogen phosphate. This is how your phosphine is prepared. If we talk about the physical properties of phosphine, it's a colorless gas with a rotten fish odor. In case of chemical properties, of phosphine dissociates about 723 Kelvin to give back its phosphorus, which is of almost red color and your hydrogen. Action of air. Phosphine burns with oxygen and produces phosphorus pentoxide. Action of chlorine. Phosphine with the chlorine will give phosphorus trichloride and hydrochloric acid. In excess of chlorine, it gives phosphorus pentachloride and hydrochloric acid. So, phosphine is a powerful reducing agent. When it is passed through this salt solution, the corresponding metal is formed. You are able to see phosphine with the silver nitrate and water will give you the silver nitric acid and phosphorus acid. So it removes nitrate from silver nitrate and take out the silver. The metal is formed. What is its uses? When pH3 burns, it produces smoke, which is dense enough to serve as smoke screens. You are able to see it. Home signal. Containers which have a perforated bottom and a hole at the top are filled with calcium phosphide and calcium carbide. This acts as a home signal. This is used in ship. If the person caught up in somewhere in ocean, they will be using this home signal to show the location of the person. These are thrown into the sea, water enters the container through the bottom and reacts with the calcium carbide and calcium phosphate to give acetylene and phosphine. Phosphine gets ignited spontaneously as it comes in contact with air and also ignites acetylene. Thus, a bright red flame is produced which is accompanied by huge smoke due to the burning of phosphine. Here is a typical example of phosphine, you are able to see, if they put it in the water, you are able to see there is a huge flame coming out. So phosphine gets ignited spontaneously as it comes in contact with air and it also ignites acetylene. This is called a Holmes signal.